today we are going to be dealing with 1040G3 that has already been backed up. Um, today we are going to see how to replace the BIOS region inside this flash file for whatever reason and inject uh, the DMI information from the old one to the new one that the BIOS that has the new that has a new BIOS region inside. So without wasting much of our time, just let's start immediately. So we use our LB. Uh, we actually need this LB too. It's very, it's very. It comprises the whole tools that we are going to be dealing with. Most of the LB. For most of the tools in the LB here is just a compilation of the whole tool, making it automated. You don't have to go, don't have to go through the manual process, but it's still good if you know the manual aspect of all these things. So you can actually tweak it to what you want it to be. So first of all, we are going to <coughs> open the 1040G3 backup with our LB. So LB actually loads the BIOS backup then. Gives us the whole information, the product, then these are the DMI information, the product name, the serial number, the product configuration, build ID, and the feature byte. So this is this is the information that uh, that are contains in the DMI section of this um, BIOS backup. So we need to get a serial number to get the new the new BIOS region from HP official website. So we copy the serial number. So we actually select all this information so that we can download uh, the BIOS driver. Okay, officially it has dictated our our serial numbers. HP Elite Book 1040. It's a 1040 G3 notebook PC. So we're waiting for it to load the drivers. Okay, we select our BIOS. Okay, this is a recent. Yeah, this is a recent BIOS upgrade, release date August 15, 2022. So, click on download, no things, install manually. Okay, wait for it to download. We have our file, okay? We have our file downloaded. We'll close this LBE for now. We'll go to our download folder. Drivers. We move it to our work folder and we need to get out the BIOS region that is contained in this exe file. So we right click and we extract. So we open it and we see there's only one BIOS region here. So this is what we are going to be working with. So now we Open up our backup file with our UFI tool. So let's replace the BIOS region. So we now have a new 40G35 with the BIOS region replaced. 
So now let's open up our LB and check if we still have the DMI information there. So we load up our new file with the bias region paste, checking for the DMI information. You see, looking at this side of the screen, you see that the product name there is nothing there. There's nothing on the serial number, product configuration ID. It's totally empty. That means the new file we've replaced, the, the bias region we replaced doesn't have the DMI information of the machine. So now we are going to, which was contained in the original one. So now let's load the original one back and see. This is the backup bin. Let's see. So it has it, but the new one doesn't have it. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to manually inject all this DMI information. We open up our HX, our hex editor. So we need to load up our inside the hex editor. So the BIOS, the new file and the backup file are inside the hex editor. They are open. Now. So we need to get our serial number from the backup. So let's Okay, the backup. Copy. So we're going to search for the serial number inside the backup first. Click on search, find, then we paste. Okay, coming down to text encoding. We choose our Unicode UTF 16 Little Indian, make it case sensitive, and we we'll search up. So we have our serial number inside this back of file. Then we we'll, let's search for it too manually. So that our 1040, the one that has the virus region replaced. Click on search, find. Okay, it's already there. Just click on search. Up. Sorry, that means the serial number is not contained in the one that has the virus region replaced. So what we are going to do is we'll go back to the backup. Copy the hex value of the serial number. Click on copy. Then we minimize. We open both of them with our UFI tool again. Okay, but this time it's for the DMI injection. That's why we're opening both with, with the UFI tool. So place them side by side. So this is the one with the bias region replaced this is the backup bin so we access the backup bin we've copied the hex value of the of the serial number so clear all we come to file then we click on search we paste under hex pattern we paste our hex value click on ok it's gonna give us some values at the bottom of the page you click on it to see the pattern that has the serial number so this is this is this is the the pattern with the serial number we need to have some minor issue here I lost my internet 
access so we've gotten the pad in front in the backup that has the the DMI information so what we're going to do is we're going to extract extract that is normally we're going to save it with whatever you want but we'll choose to save with uh, padding you can the extension should be either the VOL or the bin so let's use the VOL so we'll save to the same folder to our work folder we click on save now we come over to the the new file with the BIOS region replaced. We click on the BIOS region. We locate the same pattern, the exact location of the same pattern that that has that has the DMI information on the on the backup. We locate the exact pattern on the one with the BIOS region replaced. So we are going to replace. I think we've gotten it. So we are going to replace this pattern with the ones. With the one that we just backed up now from the uh, backup, so we right click, then click on uh, replace as is. We locate the padding we just backed up. So this is a padding dot VOL. We click on open. So we are going to construct a new file. We click on save image file. So I choose to write ten forty. DMI injected dot bin so so now we're going to open up the one we just injected the DMI info into okay let's open it with a uh, HX the hex editor and see if actually it has a serial number now. Then for TDMI injected. So we drag we open. So let's search for the serial number and see if, if we did a nice job. So click on search now. So we now have our DMI info inside the new file with the bias region replaced we've now injected the dmi info into it so we can still check with with lve okay everything is fine so that's how you go about injecting your dmi info and uh, replacing a new bias region thank you